welcome to Art with Mrs. Smith. Hello and welcome back to Art with Mrs. Smith. As you can see, I've got a very special helper here today. This is Hudson. Hi. Hudson's um, 10 years old, he's in year five, and he will be doing this artwork with us today. The name of this artwork is Big, Bright, Bold, Beautiful Name Up, because that's exactly what it is. It's big, it's bright, it's beautiful, and it's very, very bold in the colors that it uses. Now, this lesson comes from um, an American art teacher by the name of Cassie Stevens. Cassie is a fabulous art teacher. She has some brilliant ideas. I really suggest you check her out if you're a teacher yourself. Um, but this is my little take on her lesson. Um, let's show them what they're going to create, Hutto. So this is mine and this is Hudson's. So as you can see, Hudson has his first, middle and last name there, Hudson Matthew Smith. And I've just done Mrs. Smith art in mine. But as you can see, big, bright, bold and beautiful. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> The materials you will need for today's artwork are a piece of paper, lead pencil, a big thick black text start with a chisel point. I've got two examples there. You will also need some crayons and some watercolour paints. Obviously you'll need water and a paintbrush to go with those. But I'm going to introduce you to a new medium. Um, it's called Eddie Cole Dye. And I absolutely love Eddie Cole dye. It is my favorite medium. Now I'm showing you some pots here um, that I've had for many, many years. I've been teaching with these, I don't know, for over 15 years, I think. And if you're a student of mine, you will remember Mrs. Smith's love for Eddie Cole dye. So I've got some already pre-mixed here. Now, if you're a teacher yourself, I really recommend um, asking your school um, if they have it in their budget to buy some Eddie Cole dye, you won't regret it. Um, they're not cheap, but the results that you get from Eddie Cole dye is like no other. I absolutely love them. Now, I'm just going to show you how I mix these dyes. So, put the lid open and you'll see that it's really powdery. Just a tiny bit of powder in the goes. And then you add some water. The more water you add, the less vibrant the colour will be, obviously. So probably not too much water. Give it a good mix and then it's ready to go. Do be careful if you are using any cold dye because it does tend to stain. Now I'm going to use water paints for my example because I don't think many of you will have these any cold dyes, but I just want to show you that medium. Now we're doing a little warm up activity on a whiteboard. I've divided my whiteboard up into thirds with a wavy line and I'm doing a large name, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is a long name with lots of letters in it and the trick to getting your name spaced perfectly is to start with the middle letter and then work out. So you can see I started with the A and then moving on to the other letters either side of it. Because spacing these big long names can be tricky. But there we go, Elizabeth, nicely spaced. Okay, I've sped this up. Um, Hudson and I are both doing our little practice goes before we use our good paper. It's always a good idea to practice before starting. Okay, now we're happy with that. So we can get our good paper. And I'm going to start with my thick black texture straight away so that you can see it nice and clearly. Hudson will start with his lead pencil and go over with his black texture after. When you're doing your letters, make sure they're touching the wavy lines or the edge of the paper. And those lines do have to be beautiful and thick. So you might need to go over them a few times. Make sure you're using the edge of your chisel point to get a nice smooth line. And then we are all finished. Now we're going to add some crayon. And we're thinking about different patterns um, for each section, also a different color for each section. And this will make it that beautiful, big, bright and bold name up that we want. Sometimes you get might get a little bit stuck trying to think of a pattern. So it's a good idea to print off an idea sheet off the internet and that'll give you some more ideas. 
When doing your crayoning, make sure you're pressing nice and firmly because we want really solid, vibrant, bright lines. So press, yeah, nice and hard on those crayons. Okay, our craning is all finished and now it's time to add some paint. Hudson will be using the Eddie dyes and I'm going to be using just normal watercolour paints and that way at the end you'll have a nice comparison of the two mediums. And this is a really cool painting. It's called a crayon resist because what happens is when you add that watercolour paint, whether it's Eddie dye or normal watercolour, the paint will not go over the top of the crayon. The crayon will always come through because it's resisting the water paint. You need to think carefully about what colours you're using for each section. It's a good idea to have a look at the colour wheel and perhaps do complementary colours. Um, complementary colours sit on the opposite side of the colour wheel and they're really contrasting those colours. So yeah, maybe have a colour wheel handy. Okay, both paintings are nice and dry now, but I've just noticed with mine, the paint seems to have dried over the top of the black lines. So I'm going to get my black texture again and just bring back those solid black lines to make them stand out a little more. done. Now let's put our artwork on a black background. So I'll stick those on and we're finished. Okay that wraps up our big bright bold beautiful name art. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about um, the medium Edicole dye, my favourite. And I hope that you are really proud of your artwork and it's something that you can keep forever. It might look really nice um, in a frame or hanging in your classroom. It will be amazing. If you do this artwork, please don't forget to share it with me. I absolutely love to see your work. You can pop it on um, my Facebook or my Instagram and that would be great. Anything else? Bye. <laughs> okay. See you next time, everyone. Bye.